So, hey, welcome. It's another Hot Topic Tuesday today being April 4th. Welcome. Um, we know that today, for a lot of people, uh, it's almost like I shouldn't have said what we were doing. Because they go, well, I'm not into social media. Well, you can continue to do what you've always done, and you'll continue to get the results that you'll always get. Social media is not something, or even digital marketing, really isn't something that we can ignore, but rather we do need to actually embrace it. If we've been sitting back and waiting for the leads to come to us, obviously that hasn't been working too well. We have to go out to the business or we have to do the things that are necessary to get the business in our lap. So that was when Bob and I were doing a little bit of brainstorming last week. We realized that that's where we're at. And so Bob and I have a little bit of an agenda here. I'm gonna disappear for a second. No, I don't need to. I got it, Bob. I almost forgot my agenda, but um, it, actually it's just the conversation that we had uh, when we set this up. So I, I asked Bob, you know, what, what are we really looking at? What are we dealing with in regards to this market? And so when we look at social media, when we look at the perspective of digital marketing, I kind of, well, I don't know, Bob, do you want to give an introduction before I go into what's the first thing we should look at? Well, just that, um, are we going to do the free version first? The what version first? The free version. I mean, this this is the one where <laughs> you don't have to spend any money because yeah. it's free. Yeah, we're going to do the free version. We're going to do the free version. Okay, then I'm I'm definitely in it because I like free lunches. All right. So here's where we're going to look. We know today's market, if we get really specific, we know we need to talk to people that's being active every day. We should be picking up the phone, talking first to the people that we know. We know that we should be talking to them at least four times per year. And of course, all the other things that we do in working our sphere of influence. But that's a minimum four times per year that we talk to them. That's the active approach. But then what we know is we need to embrace the actively passive where we're doing the things that will cause people to come to us. So that's where the social media, the digital marketing come in. What Bob and I are talking about when he, he brings up the aspect of free is there's things that we can use and embrace that they cost us absolutely nothing. So Bob, if we just say, what's our best way to embrace social media, digital marketing, what's the first thing that you would suggest that everybody really jump into and get in place? The first thing to put in place is Moxie Engage. If you don't have a CRM that you're working, then you have no value. But there's so many things that you're missing out on because with Moxie Engage, we do have some fantastic um, email campaigns, so much better than what um, we were accustomed to with Zap. A lot of images, more graphically oriented, um, great information, and just all of the campaigns. In fact, both brands have um, an email campaign that literally goes for 12 months. I mean, you just sign up your, your, your folks and get started. Now, I'm going to add, I got to add a caveat to that because um, I told, I, I shared with Darwin the other day that um, I felt pretty comfortable because I was, I was doing my thing, you know, I had my e-campaigns going and everything else, but what I wasn't doing was I wasn't actually making those four phone calls and um, shame on me because what happened when I started to pick up the phone, I started having to go on listing appointments. You know, shame on me that I didn't do it sooner, but that's a, that's a cold reality of what's happening right now um, is now trying to wiggle listing appointments into my crazy day. And that's only the first step because again, this is something where you can just do it, let it go. But 
if you jump in every single day, it'll tell you five people that you can reach out to. But the second thing, the second thing that comes to mind is hey, I want to post... go there. Oh, okay. This what all is Moxie Engage capable of doing for us? So, I mean, you mentioned CRM, but what, like, we've got to put the effort in to set it up, but then how does it work for us so that, if you will, we don't have to do much after that? Well, the one great advantage is, is, simply your e-campaigns. There's over 20 different types of campaigns. If you want to focus on sellers, you want to focus on buyers. Um, and understand that folks, if you're syncing your email with your phone, then as you add contacts to your phone, they automatically go to Moxie Engage. So it's, it's taken care of. And you can actually automate moxie engage so as you add clients they get that welcome letter um so that you can easily sign them up for you know the seller campaign the buyer campaign maybe it's just a maybe it's just a lead you don't know what type of a prospect they are and then of course there's new listings that you can send to them which drives business back to your moxie website which is huge also neighborhood news um you have the ability to do a quick one, which is just give them a zip code and they'll, every 30 days, they'll automatically they'll get a updated housing report based on zip code. You want to be fussy? You want to draw circles? You want to draw boxes? You can do that too. You can literally do it any way you want and then just let it run. And then here's the beauty of it. So let's say I'm only going to go to the Moxie Gauge once a week, all right? What is great about it is right there on the front page, just below your stay in flow, where you're staying in contact with these people, is your activity. You know who is actually reading the emails. You know who is looking at the neighborhood news. You know who actually wants more information because they actually clicked on a link inside of neighborhood news, or they clicked on a link inside of the new listing announcement that you sent. You know who it is. And that gives you a reason to pick this thing up and say, hey, I was just thinking about you the other day and I was wondering, um, have you got any questions about the housing market in your area? It's you too know, easy. Bob, yeah, and, and a question came up here about the neighborhood news. Hmm. Excuse me. I'll let you share a little bit more about it. I, I'm going to give you an example of how I used it. I had a lease listing that I've probably been working with for about, uh, I'm, I'm going to think it's been 12 years, leased it probably four times. The gentleman's down in Texas. And I realized that, you know, the one thing that he's never really heard was what's the value of the property or understanding what the, the market is doing because it's a condo complex down in Royal Oak. I put him on the neighborhood news for that condo complex every month he opens it up so when he opens up neighborhood news bob and this is one of the questions what are they seeing in neighborhood news it's a three first off send one to yourself i mean that's too easy right <laughs> but it's a three-page housing market report it's going to give what were the recent sold properties what are the new listings what are homes selling for how many days on the market are they it's a very nice concise report um very professional they don't know that it's automated for you they think that you have gathered all this data and all this information and gave it to them in an easy to understand format you're looking pretty smart in my book that's all i'm saying and i need all the help i can get so then as far as the zip code um the question is, really is the zip code is one way of being able to send the report. So we could say everything that happened in 48327 as an example. Is that kind of an accurate yes. look at it? That's the easiest way to do it. If you got a zip code, just throw it out there. 
if you want to do it by um, school district, if you want to do it by city, you can do that. You just have to be creative and know that you can go ahead and color outside of the lines. Okay. You will, while well, if you draw a box smaller than a zip code, you'll condense the information that's available. But as long as it meets the minimum requirements of five, the reports still exist. And what I'm saying, five, there's got to be at least five for sales, um, combination of for sales, sold, and, and, and so on. Um, so it's a combination to make the five, to make it work. But it's too easy. Send it to yourself. Know what you're sending out. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a great tool. So, Bob, just wanted to make sure that uh, we covered everything that we've talked about. What would be the number two place or the number two tool that they should look to to embrace the social media and the digital marketing? Okay, so now we're reaching out to them via their email. And now we want to get in front of their face because we have Facebook. And for all you um, Twitter fans and LinkedIn fans that I know you never go, that's okay because Core Listing is taking care of it for you. But you can always up your game. And you can up your game. You say, well, I don't know what to post. So go to Realtor.com. Realtor.com's got all kinds of content. And all you got to do is you up there at the top on the menu line, it says buy or sell. When you go up there, it drops down. It says more selling tips. Click on it. It'll take you to an article that you can share right from Realtor.com to Twitter, to LinkedIn, they, Facebook, but they also have Pinterest. Oh, Pinterest, get that. I mean, so in less than 30 seconds, you can actually identify and share across your entire platform, not counting Instagram. That's the only one it doesn't do, but you can share that information and it's free. And you can never run out of content because realtor.com updates their content every two weeks. And then there's House Logic. House Logic is underrated um website because not only can you share content directly from um house logic just like you can for realtor.com but it also gives you a format of embed and embed is a huge huge thing because you can take that you can become a blogger that's right you too can be a blogger by copying that embed code going to your Moxie website and creating a custom page where you start blogging and all you have to do is copy that embed code, go paste it on your website. And then what do you do with it? Instead of sharing to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn from house logic, share it from your website. So wow. Get that? This, Share it from your website. Does that lead us to number three? It absolutely leads us to number three. What I'm talking about is a backlink. And how do we all have new websites? So, how do people find us? They got a roadmap. I mean, they can't find us on Waz, they can't find us on Google Maps, all right, because we're out there in cyberspace. But when you create backlinks and you start putting stuff on Facebook that leads back to your website, your website is indexed, meaning that the search engine optimization just moved up one, one tier. And each time you set, somebody else clicks back to it, it keeps moving up so that you become the first item on the, on the front page. If everybody were to sit and Google your name in the office and do this with everybody in the office. See who hits the front page. Who does? Because their SEO is starting to work for them. And everybody can do this and everybody's going to get different results. But whoever's been working on their SEO in the office, they're going to be the ones that start showing up on the first page because they're doing things the right way. And just to clarify, Bob, then number three is the Moxie website. Number three is definitely Moxie website. The other thing you can do, let's say, okay, I'm just never going to do realtor.com and I'm going to, not going to do house logic. Well, on your website, you have featured properties. And chances are you even have a custom search set up. 
If you click on one of those properties and as it opens up, coming up with your contact information, down below on just beside where the contact information is, is a button to share. If you click that share button, you can actually share it on your Facebook page, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Why would I want to do that? Because once you copy and paste that link in there, again, all you have to do is click on the icon. It'll take you right there. And then you can say, check out this listing. Would love to have an opportunity to show it to you. Contact me today or something along those lines. Why? Because when they click on the link, it's going to take them back to your website. I'm working with an agent. He's only been connect. He's while he's been an agent for quite a quite a while. We finally just got his core listing working. Um, finally for him. In addition to me sharing some other tips, such as the one I just shared with you. One property that he shared with his audience, and on his Facebook business page, he's only got seventeen likes okay 17 followers he got 81 where people actually clicked on it and ended up on his website don't chase the numbers don't get disillusioned if your facebook page doesn't have thousands or hundreds of followers and thousands and hundreds of likes because that's not what's important when you're looking at your page it's all about engagement this guy got 81 engagements off of a single share. He got 792 views off of a single share from his Moxie website. He called me today. He's, I don't believe it. And I said, well, just keep doing it then. Because you got to keep doing it until you can actually understand that, yeah, I guess I can believe this. Because it's, it's not going to be a one-off. It's going to be a one. So it's funny because then the property he shared today was a $9.9 million property. He says, do you think I ought to do it? I said, why wouldn't you? Well, you know, I said, no, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do it. So he's going to report back to me on how he did. Because it's too easy. Because we're still talking about free stuff, aren't we, Darwin? We are still talking to free items. I mean, I understand time is money and money is time. Can I share, can I digress just for a quick moment? Do you mean a squirrel? Squirrel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I made a commitment this year in January that I was not going to use my past and proven method of auto posting. And I did that because I wanted to put myself in the shoes of everyone that I get an opportunity to work with. I have a schedule where I typically work with five to six different agents per day, um, teach pre-license at night. So I got a kind of a busy schedule, right? In fact, I have a schedule that appointment-wise, most agents may like to have, but I still have time to post. I blog every single day on the Sackmeyer Town and & Country and Coldwell Banker Professionals page, by Monday through Friday. Is it the same blog? Yes, it is, but I still do it. Do I post daily, Monday through Friday? Yes, I do. Each and every day, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Pinterest. In fact, I have two boards on Pinterest just because I'm still testing Pinterest out for its value. And I still do two videos per week for my YouTube channel. And remember, I got five to six appointments to every day, 50 minutes in length, teach pre-license from six to 10, two nights a week. And I still find time to do this Monday through Friday. What's your excuse? So Bob, I have a question. I love everything that you're saying. I would like you to walk me through step-by-step step what that guy did to get 81, engagements so i have a new listing what would i have to do like when i get off this call with you today tell me five steps i need to do right away so steps Lydia, you're the going one, to do is you're going to go to your website hey, Bob, 
Yes. Okay. Wait a minute, Darwin. I, I was going to say, do we really have time? We were uh, going to resist that because there's one thing in the okay. end that we were going to have them do. Lydia, I'll give you okay. a, you call me when we're done and I'll okay, answer cool. that for you. Do you want me to call you afterward? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. after, after this. Okay. So, Let's stay so on gang, Lydia, thank you because you just did the one thing that uh, Bob and I actually were hoping for, which is you're going, okay, this is all really good stuff. I like these tools, but how do I use them? So the reason I'm, I'm holding Bob off from that temptation of uh, giving you those basic descriptions is because we did want to whet your appetite to say, guys, we've got these tools. They're free. These are things that we should be doing and things that we should be embracing. We'll teach you how later on, and we'll wrap up with uh, what you're going to do and how you're going to be able to do this, and it's uh, really working with Bob on it. So, Bob, I I'm showing 1222 right now. Um, should we hit uh, point number four for all of this? Yes, because again, if you don't, if you can't find the time and you don't want to do it yourself, then boost is a great, great opportunity um, that yes, we should discuss boost. Yeah. So again, there's a, a new tool out there that I think this is a real key that if we're that busy, then we want to take a look at what can we do to be able to get ourselves out there uh with creative content and that uh, what can make this happen for us so bob what's the basics on boost okay so boost is designed to promote you on facebook instagram next door and a network of over a thousand websites that's facebook instagram next door and a network of over a thousand websites for every listing that you have it's $39 a week per listing it's all over the place if you want if you don't have a listing but you're trying to get a listing so you want to advertise yourself promote yourself and and such it's $99 a month they create the ads. They do the promotion. All you have to say is, I want an ad. I want brand awareness. I want people to know I exist. I, I don't really know anything about anything with it when it comes to marketing. So help me out. And they'll take, they do it all for you. Boost is also a lead capture generation tool. And that's one of the things that I think each and every one of us, I don't care who you are, we can all we can all make use of leads. And I'm talking about good quality leads. Well, again, Boost is, um, it's powered by Lone Wolf. You may recognize Lone Wolf because they have their tentacles into many different things, um, including CRMs um, and such. But um they're going to boost your stuff in the area that you so select. And unlike where AdWorks, where you had to pay for specific zip codes and all that, you don't have to worry about all that. And the one thing I think about, and I'm just about AdWorks, a lot of people were disillusioned because they thought they should be getting leads from it. It wasn't designed for leads. It was just marketing. And there's a difference between lead generation and marketing. Well, Boost provides both. So if you're looking for leads and you can afford $100 a month, and again, so you try it for a couple of months, six months minimum, and it would be my opinion, just my opinion, six months minimum, and let it pay for itself. Matter of fact, Bob, I think that's something that we all got to take a look at. It's not a one and done when we're talking any type of marketing. It's run it out there for the duration. It can't be an overnight thing and expect immediate results. Uh, that's a great that, point, Darwin. Yeah, um, I, I, and that's where you were leading with that. That's a great point because you also reminded me, if you're gonna share content from realtor.com or House Logic, pick one day a week and do it consistently. 
And then if you got the time or you figure you start to see the vantage or the what it's doing for you, then pick two days a week. Your consistency is more important than quantity. Consistently. If you're going to do it every Monday, do it every Monday. Skip Tuesday, start with Wednesday. Skip Thursday, start with Friday, and then work your way back. Notice I'm only talking about social media, Monday through Friday. Weekends are for you. They're time to do open houses. They're time to um, show do showings. It's time to work be with your family. It's not time for social media. Do that Monday through Friday. I like that. I like that. So um, we've, we've talked about really key tools that we should all be embracing, key ways that we should be looking at building our business and to generate leads. Now the question is, how do these things work? Um, Bob, do you kind of want to run down? Uh, you, I know you send out a weekly email. What's in there that they should be aware of? And what can they do to really figure out how these things work? And more importantly, how they get them set up? Well, I really hope that they're opening the email. And I hope it's not going to spam. Um, because it's a new email each and every Monday. While I send it out at nine o'clock every single Monday, um, because I do schedule it, but the content in it is different each and every week. Sometimes it's got information about upcoming classes. Sometimes it has information to YouTube links, but always, always down toward the bottom is a link that says, one-on-one -on -one consultation with a technology ambassador. Every single, that's the only consistency across all the emails is one-on-one -on -one counseling with the technology ambassador. You click on that link and it will bring up 14 days of my schedule. You get to pick the time in the day that works best for you. It'll send you an email to tell you that you've got it. And then it'll even an hour before we're to get together, you'll get another email with a link again, just to remind you that we're going to sit down for 50 minutes and you'll be amazed at what we can accomplish with 50 minutes. If you know nothing more than how to turn your computer on. <laughs> so if, if I'm one of those individuals who I don't know anything but how to turn it on, or I'm in the opposite direction and I've done a decent job saying, setting up my website, but I know how much more can be done, then you're working with me at my level and I don't have to deal with multiple people at whatever level everybody in a classroom is at. Yep. It's personalized one-on-one. -on -one. I'm at your level, wherever, whatever level that is, that's the rung on the ladder I'm going to come and that's the way we're going to work at it. All right. So, guys, I think, Bob, you do that with a Zoom. Is that how you yes. do it? Yep. So you can actually see their computer and tell them exactly keystrokes, help them understand where they're at, what they're doing. And in the end, they can walk away with a very usable website. They can have engaged setting up with drip campaigns, where really we, we talk about 4, 4, 12, 365 and that. 12, that 1224, there's campaigns that they can set up that will automatically drip on their, we'll call it sphere of influence without them doing anything other than, well, I'm, I'm thinking of that little acronym you got behind you. That acronym back there? It, That's the one. IW, it won't happen until I do it. It won't happen until I do it. It's that simple, folks. I got a new oh. video idea that I'm going to, I'm putting together. So my new slogan that I come up with yesterday, Darwin, I'm actually going to create a video, I think, because I might be able to get the point across better. Well, you know what? So I always say that there's no magic pill. There's no sauce that you can put on it that's going to make it easy. But Bob discovered something the other day.
Lay yep. it on me. So I've looked under rocks. I've been to Dalai Lama. I've been all over the place in search. All right. Are you ready for this? Nothing. Nothing will work until you do. That is the secret sauce. Nothing will work until you do. The secret sauce is a four-letter word. W-O-R-K. So, guys, um, Bob, great job. I, I, I appreciate your knowledge, your wisdom, your expertise. I want to be respectful of everybody's time. Know that Bob's got that email out there. Go to the very bottom of it. If you're ready to take it further, to get it started, to just have questions answered, take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one that we're now doing with Bob. This is a huge opportunity uh, to be able to take advantage of what his knowledge, his skills, and everything that he's doing to continue to learn and know what's working. Um, I'm going to throw out one other thing. Next week, Hot Topic Tuesday, it's the deep dive. So we're going to spend one hour next week. And this is going to be coming from the four coaches. So I've got Alex Peck, Dawn Hendricks, Karina Ball, and Mr. James out of Belleville. All of them coming on to go, you know, they're in this marketplace. They're selling, they're coaching. They know what they're running into. They know what their coaching clients are running into. They're going to share with us next week over 60 minutes some of their knowledge, their wisdom of what they're running into and what they're finding is working in the real estate market today. So my request, get together with your manager, get together in the office, listen to what's going on and do a little bit of idea sharing after everything is all done. So that's next week. And uh, by the way, we're going to be doing that in Clarkston next week. So my Rochester group, if you want to come up, that's where we'll be. We'll be live out of Clarkston, or if you're in Clarkston or near there, feel free to come in. So that'll be next week on Tuesday. The Hot Topic Deep Dive will be with those four coaches. So we'll wrap it all up. Guys, thank you so much. There's another Tuesday in the books. It will be online this evening for a review. Have a great one, everybody.